word. Have you ever seen those mystery boxes, Siege? Those opening of mystery boxes? No. No. There's this thing on like YouTube and and just like you buy Mine a was box. On Facebook. You buy a mystery box and you don't know what's inside of it. And then these people open up the box and then it could be it could be a dud or it could be like a box full of surprises. And then you could get like you could get stuff worth over the money that you paid for the box. So like let's say you pay a thousand dollars for this mystery box, you could get like a thousand dollars worth of tech. Or you could get a complete dud. Well, that wasn't It was like a gamble. That wasn't my one. Mine one was supposedly not a gamble at all. It was on Facebook. And it was by the Simplicity Store, which now no longer exists. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's, uh, and it was for an Amazon mystery box, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, surely not, surely not. There was thousands of reviews, thousands, and there were like amazing reviews. Amazing. Really, really good reviews. So amazing. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, well, surely, you know, there can't all be scam reviews. There's so many of them. Yeah. So then I clicked through, I clicked to their store and it basically was, you sh and, and people were unboxing as well. And they're like, wow, oh my God. Anyway, so then I clicked through, clicked test store and there's different options you can buy. And I went with a super giant one, um, which basically guarantees you for at least, so like there's four categories and you're supposed to get one of like these major things in each category. So you're meant to get like either a MacBook Pro or like. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you meant to get like or maybe not the pro maybe is it just a macbook you meant to get like maybe a laptop and then the next category down you'd probably get an ipad or like and then like get um so you get one one definite of each category yeah you got a, you get certain tiers of the mystery box yep, and, and then you're guaranteed you, one of them you're guaranteed some you're, airpods it's not a mystery um, if you're guaranteed yeah but you don't know it could be one so there's a list and then you're guaranteed one so like airpods and just you know all these really cool stuff and i got the super giant and it's supposed to come in this big box and be full so i bought it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I had full what, confidence. What, what, why were you why you were buying it? Did you happen to um decide to send some money to the Nigerian prince? So I heard he's broke. <laughs> I had full confidence in what I had done and I was really excited. I was actually very excited. It cost me sixty nine dollars, US dollars, by the way. So it was about ninety four dollars. So I thought, I don't want to go for the cheap one. Why would I do that? I want to be guaranteed like a, a laptop, Pro. A an Pro iPad maybe. For $69. Air well, this was, so this supposedly came from the left, you know, the un, uh, you know, the returned items or the uncollected items or something mm. in the Amazon warehouse. It showed you pictures of the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, the reviews like showed people unboxing and taking pictures of what they had received. Yeah. Oh, and there were thousands of reviews. So I was like, oh, so I, like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, and then when I looked at the reviews, I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, so I waited. Wait, and can then, I pause that for, mm. can we pause from there? You know how I found out, found out about this box, Siege? Oh, she told you? No, she didn't <laughs> tell me. She didn't tell me. I was going to surprise you. It was, it was <laughs> with, an act of with betrayal. All the, with all the good stuff we it got. It was an act of betrayal. Right. <laughs> okay. How did she betray? I you? found out because I saw these uh, knockoff Air AirPod <laughs> earbuds just hanging on. I didn't the... get there yet. Yeah. Hang on. I, it was on the counter, and I uh, I picked up the box and said, "Oh, you haven't opened this yet." And the way she reacted to me holding this box, she she <laughs> exacerbated. She was like, "Well, <laughs> oh, that's how she replied to me holding this box," and I said. How much did you pay? Anyways, proceed. So I was waiting and then one day I got a delivery and it was just this tiny little package <laughs> thing. And I didn't know what it was. I was like, hmm, what have I ordered? Anyway, so I opened it and it was this like knockoff AirPods. Yeah, knockoff. And I looked at how much they were and it was $10. And I looked at the package again going, I didn't buy these. What? Like, I wonder where these have come from. And then I saw and I recognized the order number. 
And then, like, I don't memorize the whole order number, but, you know, you when you recognize it. Anyway, so I was like, that's weird, because why, why have they sent that separately to the rest of the staff? <laughs> <laughs> like, shouldn't it all arrive in one big box? So then I waited. Like, I didn't open them. I yeah. waited. And I waited. Yeah. And nothing arrived. And then I hopped online. And then I was like looking for scams, looking for, I went back to the Simplicity store and it was still there at that point, I think. And I emailed them and I said, hey, this is all I've received, but I paid for this. And they came back to me a couple of days later saying, we're sorry for the inconvenience. Um, what did they say? We'll give you a 30% refund. And I went, <laughs> what? So then I checked and there were $10 worth. $10 worth of these knockoff headphones and they wanted to give me a 30 cent refund. And I said, hell no. I said, I'm taking this further. And then they give me another email saying, we'll give you 50%. It's going to cost you more money to take this further. <laughs> and I was furious. Oh my gosh. Hopped online. This one girl I made, we like were chatting on messenger because she had the exact same experience with the exact same headphones. <laughs> 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 and like I sent them an A C letter, which is like, you know, Australian Commission of Consumer, whatever. And um and they were just like refusing and they were like, fine, you can send it back to us for a full refund and gave me this dodgy address, which doesn't even look like an address. I was so furious. Anyway, this other lady in the end goes, I got a refund from PayPal. So what do you know? What? I'm just gonna try that. And finally about Two months after this whole thing, I reached out to PayPal and within two minutes got my money like refunded. But I was so furious. I was, I really didn't think I had been scammed and oh. I was looking forward to unboxing my, <laughs> my gifts. So, so anyway, see, there's just this club, there's this club. Just, just, for, cur just for curiosity, yeah. um, do you still have the AirPods? Because I actually was looking for some AirPods for work. So they're not actual <laughs> AirPods. They're yeah. $10 knockoffs. And they, I do still have them in a package. I said, boys, you can have them. <laughs> uh, I don't see if they worked. So, so, uh, do you want me I'll, to I'll give them? I'll, them? I'll send them, them to you. <laughs> I'll send them to you, That's CJ. Have you, you ever got them. scammed, Siege? Have you ever got scammed? No. Have That's I? the first time I've been scammed. No. Okay. I go into everything thinking it's a scam yeah no you're skeptical so you it's, go into it's everything, hard yeah it's hard to it's yeah yeah i go into everything thinking this is too good to be true yeah yeah so what's the catch yeah I, i've Usually... made mistakes when i was younger like i've signed contracts for like vehicles and stuff i shouldn't have i shouldn't have signed but like that was my own stupidity what do you mean like i agree i agreed to the vehicle to be done that way not knowing that I probably shouldn't have done it. What are you talking about? I, my first vehicle, I bought it all quick. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I've, I've, I've done those stupid things, yeah. right? But that wasn't really a scam. That was my own fault for mm. being immature. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, like, yeah, so since then, I treat everything like they're trying to rip me off. I think there are so many scams going on now. And like the like, because there's this big one on um, I think they're streamers, and they're getting people to buy Bitcoin, this um, this certain Bitcoin, and then dumping the the bitcoins so they can gain all the profits or something, or they they get in endorsements to promote a Bitcoin, and then their followers get the like their followers buy the Bitcoin, they get scammed, but then the streamers they don't care because. They've got their commission That's or, weird. and I'm like, there are so many scams there. Ugh, I just, anyway. Yeah. I usually pride myself in being good at picking them up. Like when I so went to sell my sofa on Gumtree and the person said, that's cool. Um, can you post it to Nigeria for me? And then I was like, wait, what? And then they wanted like, my, <laughs> and I was like, hell to the no. Wait, hang on a sec. Isn't that, didn't you ring me first? And you said, um, I think uh, they, they're telling me to like give them the, the money for them to pick it up or something? Yeah, and I was like, nah. No, Dodge. but you rang me and I was like, 
to confirm this is not right. Well, this is the way that Emma explained it to me. She said, um, so I sold the couch, but they want me to send them money for the courier. And I was like, what? Yeah, like, but I wasn't going to go through with it. You're not, making it sound no, like no, us. But I was like, you're like, you when you explained it to me, I was like, what? Why would you even ring me for this? Don't, <laughs> don't, don't send the money. Of course not. But um, I did. I've joined um, the been scammed club. after the airpods after airpods i'm thinking you might have done and the it thing is, i told my dad about it as well after i bought it i was like i just made got the re- i just got a mystery amazon box you guys should probably do it i'll let you know when it comes through i'll tell you what i've got <laughs> <laughs> i should probably update him on that don't get it dad i'm actually gonna send i'm gonna put that on um on um i don't know i'm gonna put it on the socials to say that our mystery box received a mystery box came <laughs> and I'm just going to take a photo of the airpods <laughs> the knockoff the AirPods. fake airpods <laughs> and what got me is I was scrolling through Facebook like after I got the you know I have, after I'd been scammed and I saw exactly the same thing and it was the website was the same but it was under a different name but it was exactly the same yeah. that's how and they do like, it Okay, Emma, just for curiosity, why didn't you look into it more before you purchased uh, the I think I went from the reviews. And mm. I think if there's only a few reviews, I'll go, it's, oh, that's, you know, they've paid someone to do that. But there was thousands and there was like pictures and all this and that. And then, I don't know. But what's confusing is they did keep responding to me. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, you scammed me. Why are you responding to me? Yeah, this is bizarre. They're probably saying, we well, could probably get more money out of her. I know. <laughs> Oh my god! So yeah, public service announcement: Do not buy a mystery. You can actually buy the mystery boxes on Amazon, like directly. No, from no, me. no. Just no, like don't off of buy the Amazon website. Boxes. But it's not nowhere near as good as what you like. Apparently, they're not good stuff that you get. Oh, okay, Emma. It's better than what you got. <laughs> <laughs> the B side word.